All right, so this is Save Media. Yo, tell the people who you is and where we at. It's your boy Trend Dossetta, a.k.a. Mr. That Boy Good, representing Brownsville. All right, but so let the people know what you what you do as an artist. I make heartfelt music. You spitting that pain. I just be talking my shit, heartfelt shit. You know, everything from the heart. Okay, okay. So would you see yourself as more like a, a metaphor rapper, punchline rapper, storyteller? Uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of everything. You know I, mean? I, I started off when I first started rapping. I was more like a punchline that's what I feel like that's what everybody was uh, everybody knew me from doing you know I mean? from battle rapping being the cyphers and all that and then as I got older I kind of grew up out of that alright but so let me ask you a question do you remember how old you was when you first started rapping damn I had to be like a teenager I say around 13 14 but I wouldn't say I, I probably mastered my craft till I got like high school Okay, okay. So, like, what inspired you most to really start writing and, and get into the booth? Well, listening to the legends back in the days, the rock hymns, the Coogee raps, you know what I mean? Just hearing hard beats, soulful beats. That shit made me just want to pick up my pen and, and just start writing. Okay, okay. So you fuck, you fuck with the golden era. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that's the era when it was bars. Okay, Late okay. 80s, 90s. All right, so who, who you who you would say is your is your is your best from the 80s, and then who you say is your best from the 90s? Best from the 80s? Well, I just named a few: Coogee Rap, Rakim, uh, Big Daddy Kane. Now in the 90s, I probably go with Wu Tang, Jada, Fab. You know, old. Okay, okay. okay. Legends. So that's who you really grew up listening to? Hell yeah. What do you got coming up as far as like your newest ventures and newest videos? Well, I just put out a new a video called um, Stand Up Nigga that dropped about a month ago. Next week, I'm about to shoot a video for my So Brooklyn Freestyle. I'm about to get back in the stool and work on this mixtape. So I'm working, grinding. I see, like, they, they got a little challenge, so Brooklyn challenge. A lot of people got a lot of heat. It's a lot of, it got so Philly, so Queens, so Bronx. Right. Now, let me ask you a question. What you about to bring to the table for that beat? Because a, a lot of people killing that. So I want to know what you about to bring to the table. Authentic hip hop. That's what I'm okay. talking about. Real bars. Okay, okay. Real bars matter. No right. gimmicks, no fabrication, just real bars. Salute to everybody that did the So Brooklyn challenge. You know what I'm saying? But I've been on that type of time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't need no disrespect to Casanova. I ain't need for nobody to put out no challenge for me to want to step my pin game up. I've been doing that. Yeah. Rip. Niggas, anybody that know me, they know I've been doing that. Okay, okay. so you, do you, you that be That was wreck for me. Yeah. That's all. That shit was just wreck. So the pin game strong. Pin game strong. All right, you know? so let me ask you another question. You be fucking around with, like, the freestyles and shit? Like, you be... Like kicking shit off the rip, like little sixteens, little eights, and shit like that. Yeah, 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 I've been doing that. All right, you you willing to um show the people a little something what you be doing out here as far as like the bars and shit? Show people that real bars matter. Yeah, I could do that. I said, remember having limp pockets, now they hella chubby. Extort who me, never, buddy. I leave your fucking face extra bloody. You ever try to take what's mine? Shit'll get very ugly as a Teletubby. I get two fucks how these bitches and fellas judge me. It's pointless. All I know is the bank tellers love me. Never had to beg for Nookie. Hold, send it to me. Borrow your bitch, then give her back. I call that rental pussy. She let the homie smash for Lucy's and lemon cookies. Pay attention to me. Just want people to praise me the same way the crits do. When you mention Tookie, don't be fooled by the baby face, cause I'm grown. Cool as Razor Ramon, I'm that guy I'm making it known. Good everywhere, y'all only safe when you home. Always got war stories, how you blazing your chrome when you a wimp. Knock mm -hmm. it off, only thing you spray was cologne. When I die, write legend next to my name engraving in stone. Used to be in the trap pitching like Jacob the Groom. First thing I learned is the lessons, watch what you say on the phone. There's no telling where you might see me, yeah, I be here and there. I'm up in age, but still ain't showing no wear and tear. Niggas don't want no smoke, they just want to clear the air. Get a smiley face from life or I cut you ear to ear. 
Trend dot him hot, them not, that boy good. Facts. So Brownsville sound like facts, facts, say media. facts, facts. That's what I'm talking about. So let me ask you another question, big bro. Who you listening to right now as far as like like who who's setting a setting like a impact on hip hop right now that you got in your playlist? Um Ho, Fab, Kiss. Fuck with Davies, um, Ross, Jim Jones. That's about it as of right now. You know, I fuck with a lot of niggas. I, ain't, I don't really be feeling too much of these new dudes. I don't really be saying too much. So you, I like niggas that be having substance in their music. You feel me? You be fucking with like the the underground rap, oh, like the, yeah. the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn, the, niggas, the Brooklyn me. drill rap, like the, the younger dudes, like the, you know, the up and comers, like from, they got like the dudes that's like 15 to 25. Nah. Nah, that little ten year gap. Nah, I don't really. I don't listen to that, bro. I need, I need motivation. I need music that's gonna inspire me to write. Okay. No okay. disrespect to the young boys. Get your money. Do what you do. I mean, it's a different era. I don't listen to shit like that. Okay. okay. No. Nah. You know, pop smoking them. Do y'all thing. Get your. Can't hate. Yeah. Get y'all money, but I'm on a different type of time. Copy. Copy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Real bars matter. Man. Yeah, like I listen to old school shit myself, like Hove, like Reasonable Doubt. Hell yeah. I classic. still listen to Life After Death. Raekwon Purple Tape. You know? You know what I'm saying? Rick Ross' first album, Port of Miami. Shit like that. J. Cole. Yeah. Hendrix. Even like that new shit, um, Styles P and Dave East just right. put out not too long ago. Right. You want to bring it to like a I modern time? Right, right. You know? Right, right. Yeah, right. that's. Like that. Yeah, everybody got their own lane of yeah, hip hop. Yeah, but you can't you can't hate on a younger generation. This ever change, you know the game evolved, but that's just not what I, I listen to. Copy. If you could pick one artist that's signed right now, that you could that you could do a song with for free, no strings attached, who would you work with right now? Fab. Fab. Yeah, I keep it Brooklyn. Okay, okay. Keep it Brooklyn, bro. Why and, and and tell the people why you say that. Fab, one of my favorite rappers. Slick talk. You know what I'm saying? His whole swag, <laughs> demeanor. Yeah. How he rap. Okay, okay. It's kind of resemble how, how I come at it. How I come at the game. You know what I'm saying? Never heard of him. Yeah, Fab, definitely. And for the simple fact, he's been in the game for mad long. And he's still relevant. So that means a lot. Uh, somebody could just, 2019, still can evolve. Yeah. So a lot of these old rappers, they washed up, you feel me? A lot of niggas don't sound the same, they don't rap the same, so yeah, Fab definitely one one of the rappers I would definitely love to work with in the future. Copy. Now have you um have you been doing any like live shows, any features, like working with any artists lately? Nah, as of lately, I was doing a lot of shows, I kinda fell back. Trying to get these visuals popping, trying to get this mixtape done, trying to get back in the studio. So I just been focusing on that right now. I ain't really been worried about features. Either. Maybe in the future, yeah, but as of right now, nah. Copy. Just trying copy. to stay active, and consistent. You know what I'm saying? All right, so yo, you got a new mixtape coming out, a new project you working on? It's about that time. Word, about that time. Uh, I ain't really got no. No set date on it right now, but I'm hoping before the year's out, if not top of the top of the new year, yeah. hopefully it should be done. Mm -hmm. Now, what what made you name that project? You know what I'm saying? What what made you give it that title? It's kind of self-explanatory, you know. I mean, I feel like it's been long overdue for me to put out a project, and I feel that. The time is now because I feel like 2019 is starting to get back to bars. Yeah. So, like real hip hop is real, coming real back. Real hip hop, and I just felt like it's about that time. So, 
Word. My bro, my bro right here, Stretch, he kind of came up with that title for me. She threw it out there, and I just kind of ran with that shit. Like, yo, you know what? Because I was going to call it Bars is Back, but I know Cassidy jacking that, and I was like, yeah. you know what? I don't want to run with that. I want to have, like, my own little title. So I'm running with that. So basically, I'm just waiting for some good artwork to get done. I'm going to get that on the ball. But trust me, I'm going to have some fire on there. Copy it. Yo, let the people know how they could reach you for features and bookings. Well, uh, my email is trend.setter2376 at gmail. You can send all beats, features on there. Uh, my Instagram is underscore that boy good. I got a music page, that boy good music. You can type in Trendsetter Browns, you'll find us on SoundCloud. You can find my music there. Copy. Now, just let the people know. Who interview Big Up Say Media? Shout out to my boy Castro. Salute to Say Media. Copy, copy. We out. It's so soulful. I'm only half a man. I make this shit look effortless. Niggas ass. Trend, will you ever fall off? You shitting me? Since your boy leveled up and became a change man, got my change up, living comfy, stuck to my game plan.